What's up, Sam Ashers, and welcome to the Spotlight. I'm Dave Stutz, and I'm backstage at the Hammerstein Ballroom right here on 34th Street next to Sam Ash, New York City, sitting with inarguably the greatest rock band that ever was, <laughs> Hailstorm. We haven't found anybody to argue with him yet. That's so. right, and no one ever would. What's up, guys? Uh, craziness, as always. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, like we said before, we heard the sound check going on, and even that is out of bounds. It was just oh, well, thanks, man. amazing. <laughs> out of bounds. Is that out, out of bounds. bounds. I do. That's a, I like that. We're going to say it's a good thing, yeah. but you know. <laughs> That's a Virginia transplant to New York phrase right there. Nice. Out of bounds. I like but it. again, thank you guys so much. I know you're very busy. Thank you for sitting with us. No worries, you know, man. In fact, speaking of busyness, I, I read somewhere that you guys do up to like 250 shows a year. Is, that, is there any way that's possible? Something like, I, you know, something like I, that. I think it's yeah. more like there's 250 days out on the road. We have, no, it's usually no, like 300. No, it's usually 300. Yeah, yeah but I don't know. Then there's we're, a bunch of shows in there. We're more used to being on the road than, it's, than gotcha. in real life. We, sure. we keep saying it's like going to outer space. Okay. You know, it's like you don't have to deal with gravity and there's right. all this stuff and then you like, there's re-entry into real life, right. which is kind of difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, like, what imagine. do I make for dinner? I don't know, that's become an impossible like dishes? What is this? <laughs> yeah, laundry, what is this? That's amazing. There's a shower at your disposal, you can get it every day. Yeah. You know people shower every day? <laughs> do they? It's crazy. Questionable. I don't know. Have I? <laughs> and when you guys do come home, that's close by, isn't it? That's not too far from here. Um, we, most um, of us we, live um, in... Three out of four of us live in Nashville now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you guys but yeah, no, we gotcha. used to come up here all the time. Yes. Yeah. So. This was our PA, jam. PA morning bread. Awesome. That's it great. never really leaves you. We were, oh, we were in the studio and there's been a couple times where... It's like a our beautiful stain. Our, our producer is like, can you just... Can you just pretend like you have an English accent? I'm like, why? He's like, because you can't do accents, but you keep saying asking like you're in like right. rural Pennsylvania. So it's I have to go asking. Oh, <laughs> How rude. I know. You know, I know. What, what an arrogant you can take, thing to You say. can take the girl out of PA. <laughs> you can't take the PA right. out of the girl. Well, guys, speaking of New York, we're here in New York City. A lot of us, you know, we all live here, work here. We take it for Hell granted. Yeah. The city means something different to us because we're in and out all the time. Is there still a magic to New York when you come to these uh, places? Totally. Are these venues great venues for you? Absolutely. I love, we love New York City. We were just uh, we were here after Europe, right? Mm -hmm. um, just walking around, you know. It's, yeah. When you visit, we, we get here a few times a year, but it's always just like it's the energy thing, you know. Absolutely. And, Going to like some of the rock bars, good rock bars still in this town. Not many left, but there's a few. Is there any <laughs> chance some of your best gigs have been here? I mean, we love New York. We oh love yeah, kind of stuff. absolutely. Yeah. Some of our um, best and worst gigs. Really? <laughs> have been here. Can you tell um, us about those? What was the best gig? Um, we used to probably, play Don Hills at Don once Hill, a month yeah. um, okay. back in the day, and so Don helped us we'd, get a record deal. He yeah, we we bust all of our super fans from from PA. <laughs> Bust them up to, to New That's York awesome. so that we would have somebody to play in front of I remember we blew it at the Continental. We definitely for one blew it at the Continental. And then it flooded in the basement, remember? Wasn't that That, that night? sounds like a bad gig. Yeah. Yeah. But we had a killer time at Arlene's Grocery we one did. time and we played CBGB and. Uh, pianos. Pianos. Um, I played there's, pianos. there's a place, there's a place called Zingers right. back in the day we used to play. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. What a bunch of great iconic places. I mean, some of those aren't even there anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to get no, to them on. while they were still there. It's like there. Philly, man. We used to play South Street once a week, and I think it's like... Most of those places all are gone, too. All yeah. it's gone. Wow. Awesome. Well, guys, my next question, you know, a lot of people these days are, are saying that rock and roll, the popularity of it, is kind of waning. There's this new school of electronic music coming around, but as a rock group, absolutely on top of their game, selling out shows, record after record, I mean, what's your opinion on that, the state of rock and roll these days? Um, I mean, f I as it. far as with with right. us, it's actually the complete opposite. Like really? With the surgence of, of uh, there's Greta Van Fleet now that is kind of like... Well, yeah, they're, they're, there's they're, like, they're coming there's like, back. There's but like kind of an in vogue <laughs> thing. Whatever, whatever's happening, I don't know. Like, I like that it's not in the mainstream culture right now. We got our thing, our, and it's going well. We'll make club. a living at it, and, and uh, I, I think it's cool. Like, there's a... It's almost back to how it used to be—a vintage vibe with rock and roll. Well, people beyond, who love it and even appreciate it. Beyond that, just like, just the whole—I don't know—people are coming out, but it like it's not a household thing, so it feels like there's like a club, you know, and right. and that that's regardless of the genre of rock, mm -hmm. you know, within it, it. Besides Greta Van Fleet, what rock band is like gone through to the consciousness of the? World, I mean, not. I mean, not a whole recently. Not recently. No. I mean, you know, Imagine Dragons isn't a rock band. Sorry, they're 
pop group. No. And, oh. you know, you same with a, Paramore. They're a pop band. You make a good point, though, is that what we've seen just in our, in like, just in the trenches of what we do is that the difference between rock and pretty much every other genre is that people aren't going there, okay, I have nothing better to do on a Saturday. Like, right. there are people that come to these shows that, like, primally need to be there mm, like yeah. their life is going to be destroyed and t unless they can go and so it's like to me like i love seeing that because this is all we want to do too it's like yeah. we need to be on stage these are rock fans yeah. they're not here today sure. gone tomorrow <laughs> you know like i think one of the luckiest things we ever happened to us was not getting on the pop charts and doing that scene you know and just maintaining our rock and roll thing because because you go up, but then you come down real fast. Right, <laughs> yeah. That's got to be a shitty trip. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really cool to hear you guys say that, too, because it's absolutely <laughs> right. You know, there, there are some groups where they come through, and it's like, all right, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm free. We can go. But, you know, a few of us in the crew here last October when you guys were at the Space in Westbury, it's oh, like, yeah. no, we have to go. And we all went. Wow. It was a great oh, show, yeah. by the way. I know it was a year ago, but well, incredible show. You know what's kind of cool, too, is that, like, you see a lot, like, and, and we have a lot of friends in different genres, but they're always so impressed. They're like, oh, Oh, you guys are actually playing your instruments. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. And it's like I remember the first time that happened. I'm like, seriously? Like that's like rock and roll 101. And it's like there's not a whole lot of people that do that anymore. So it's like, it's keep playing those guitars. Keep playing. You know, make sure that you're making noise because it's it's be it's it's an incredible thing. It's an incredible yeah. thing to be able to do that. Absolutely. Apparently. <laughs> well, and it's amazing where it'll take you. I mean, did you ever think, I wanted to ask you about, you know, the Nita Strauss WWE event. Did you ever think it would take you someplace like that? What was that like? Uh, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, that whole community is is incredible. It's, it's. I don't remember, maybe really just the trans Siberian Orchestra thing, but I hardly ever walk into a camp, like, first day, hardly know anybody and you just feel like your family it feels it felt like i was like on tour with everybody mm -hmm. <laughs> for an entire tour and it's like they were just yeah, so incredibly nice, nice and and organized and yeah it was just super fun no absolutely like if you had told 13 year old me like starting hailstorm like oh yeah by the way you're going to do that i'd be like ah no that nice. probably won't happen so, well yeah. i mean i want to congratulate you too <clears throat> because a lot of our crew are, are wwe fans and they, oh, were, they awesome. were telling me that it was a historic event it was the first all female uh, mm -hmm. pay per view event, and you were a part of it. So you made you made WWE I, history. I, it's, it's such a great thing to be a part of, and um, that whole team, like their songwriting team, literally wrote that song for Nita and I specifically. Like it, when we got there, we didn't realize it was like done for us right. till we got there. It's nice. like yeah, we had these spaces for Nita, and then he's like, and then we looked up all of like your your songs on Spotify, like your most popular, and found the key that like is like your sweet. I'm like wow, I didn't even know I had That's a sweet incredible. spot, but they like figured it out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so like it was super nice. Yeah, That's amazing. Cool. They analyze your range. You just, yeah, they know no, more about I don't even analyze you. my. <laughs> so can you analyze my things for That's me? Awesome. Thank you. What was it like working with Nita? Was she cool? Oh yeah, she's super sweet. Nice. What a sweetheart awesome. and super talented. Yeah. So, yeah, and we've been wanting to do something together forever. It just took that getting us together because we're always sure. so busy. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So guys, you touched on it a little bit, but I just want to see if there's any way to elaborate. You know, with uh, with musicians these days, we always talk about inspiration, and I know it's a question that a lot of musicians get locked. But I liked it because it evolves. You know, the people who mm -hmm. inspired you when you started. You know, new people can inspire you now. Is there like a new group that inspires you guys, or do you just inspire each other? Um, who, who have we been listening to lately? And the, um, the last two records that like I've like been obsessed with is the Ghost record. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that I love that. And then the other one, which is totally opposite, is that Lucas Nelson, The Promise of the mm -hmm. Real. You ever listen to that? Like he's a killer player. Oh, great sound. Yeah, they're like great really songs. cool guitar tone and does this great. You know, he song writes these amazing songs and does these great like major melodic solos and then. They do some jamming on the record, and they get they get into it, and he gets evil with some. Yeah. It goes <laughs> minor. Like, like, hey, you've gone minor. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's it's just it's cool. It's a neat uh, neat record. That's great, man. That's the last two that I really listened yeah. to. If you haven't seen Ghost live in this this specific lineup, you have to. That's the best. It's fantastic. That was one of those shows live that like I'm like I couldn't shut up about it for like two weeks. It's like, like funny. It's awesome. Yeah. The band rips. Mm -hmm. And there's like a smile to it, you know. Yeah, it's I like rock and roll with a smile. Yeah, it's, that's great. Awesome. So, guys, uh, speaking about inspiration and things like that, there are thousands, millions. The whole world is inspired by Hailstorm. Clearly. Oh God! And they're at home right now Big practicing, yeah, <laughs> as hard as they can to play like Joe, to sing like Lizzie. 
Uh, do you guys still practice? Is there even is that even a thing? Oh, yeah. What's your practice routine? Like? Absolutely. Really, like lately, I've been on that True Fire yeah. app. You know that app? It's like this. Uh, mm, I don't know. It's a that. website app, like guitar lesson type Fantastic. thing. I've been taking. They have just have like a compilation of all these video mm. lessons, and. Uh, Get like a monthly streaming thing. <laughs> See, I love that. That's so I've been on there like you, you never stop learning. You know? Yeah, the, I I'm, I was listening to what ones that would, his name is Carl. Yeah. Ver um, Verahan. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but mm. I hadn't even heard of him really, and I guess he's this really well known <laughs> renowned guitarist. Um, I stick with my rock Fair and roll enough. usually, but he's sure. amazing and like nice. he goes into the theory of all this stuff, and I kind of realized I was like, wow, I don't think I'll ever really fully understand be where that guy's at but yeah. kind of learning his licks and stealing some of his licks and ideas have been like okay I'd like you take to just what get you your, need and yeah. you kind of yeah whatever you can leave it's so hard like he's so good and does these runs that are just like so outside of the box and like but still right. in like a blues thing sure. and it's like what is that yeah. even yeah all right cool sure. like it's fun i don't know it's, it's well, a, and 250 it's days out of the year, it's got to be tough on the voice, right? I mean, what's what's your uh, routine? Yeah, like? uh, uh, vocally, um, I warm up to a certain degree um, every day. A, a lot of it is the 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 more I keep going, the more mm. I realize that it's a lot of simplicity. A lot of like drink water, get sleep, sure. warm up to some degree. Like like for me, I know my body fairly well at this point mm. and so you can wake up and be like oh, la, okay that's kind of there and whatever maybe I'll have to work on some of that but like if I'm like kind of all there I will warm up less mm. you know because sure. I, I do know it's it's fine you can fall into a trap um, when you get paranoid about your voice and whatever whereas you'll end up like okay do I have to like start warming up at like 6 right. p.m. we don't go on till 10 but I got to start mm. warming up and then you realize you've been like singing for hours because right. even though it's like you know, warming up, it's still singing. So you're gonna, then sense. you wonder, why am I t so tired during the set? So it's really, it's a lot of listening to your body, stay hydrated, shut up if you're tired. That kind Perfect. Of thing. Yeah. Nice. Lizzie, you sound a little tired. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they tell me it all the time. They, right. they always think I'm huh. <laughs> a little tired today, huh? Yeah. yeah. Nothing like a band member to troll you. That's great. Well, guys, it's Sam Ash. Clearly, you can imagine we love gear. We're all about it. We Hell play yeah. it every day. Uh, can you remember the first piece of gear? I mean, you guys both play guitar. Do you remember the first guitars? Do you still have them? Mm -hmm. um, I do not no. have the first guitar. I, mm. I got a Lisa Rich Mockingbird. Wow. Cool. Um, candy Apple Red. Rock it was all d like dug out something. And it, I got a good deal on it, whatever. And the guy threw in a, um, it wasn't even a boss. It, was, it, said, it said metal on it, but it was a some <laughs> distortion pedal, and I didn't right. know how to use it. And it was great. Awesome. Uh, I, have, I don't have either of those things. You just turn all the knobs up. <laughs> yeah, just turn everything up. It. My starter was a rental from Hartford Music in Wisconsin, and it's a Charvel, this black Charvel. Cool. I learned about strap locks with that one. Oh, yeah? And what I, happened? I, I cracked Please. it in half. Oops. I don't know. Just, I was, <laughs> was it one of these moves? No, or? no, I was just standing there, just boom. And I was like, what the? Yeah, it wasn't even cool. Wow. And wasn't I just cracked cool. it, and I took it back, like, sorry. Oh, no. Was it heavy? Um, not, I don't know. Just not something really. happens. Yeah, Strapping just, off. yeah, the strap, Oof. yeah, it happens. Like it maybe it got tangled up. Who knows? Whatever happens. And, and strap locks. That's like, cool. But no, my first real guitar that was like mine was like an Ibanez RG270. It was mm. green. It was, I got it because it was green. Nice. Just because like it was sticker. green? Yeah. I'll take the green one. Yeah, I want the green one. Nice. You still yeah. have it? No. I yeah. sold it. Gotcha. Got a Les Paul Studio. I sold that. Got a PRS. Which I sold and got a telly. It's almost like thinking back through your cars. Yeah. yeah. First I had a Pontiac. First and that. Then I had a Mustang. Yeah. That's awesome. You remember all your guitars? Yeah. How many guitars do you guys have now? Do you know? Oh, God. Too many? Um, I just got one today. Yeah. Oh, we're going to talk I about that. I stopped counting <laughs> a, a long time ago. How many I, I counted. Rooms? Somebody asked, and I have a I have like a How many rooms full of guitars do you guys have? A few. I have like, <laughs> I think I have like we, 45 or 48. Nice. Somewhere between 40 and 50. That's great. That are mine. Yeah. I don't know what you have. I'm probably near that, cause I got I got some doubles of everything too. Yeah. Double are they all stores. out on stands that you can just grab whenever you want when you're Around, home? Around home, uh, yeah. Yeah, like like d dude, if if you have a house, just take up the wall space. That's what you do. You just right. hang them up, and then it's just so inspirational. You walk through, you're like, oh, that's cool. I have like a, a tenon banger stand here, and then I think we have like 
20 yeah, guitar hangers on the walls yeah. and you just mm. it's functional art yeah people. there you go <laughs> is there a uh, like a dream piece of gear that you just haven't seen that you know that you want that you're waiting to get what, what was um uh, what did they let us play at um in seattle Oh, uh, the guitar that yeah. all the other guitars want to be. <laughs> yeah, so the, that sixty last ball yeah. burst. Um, it's yeah. like okay. when, it was, it just, was it a sixty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's early nineteen sixty. It, it was. Like, no. It was like one of those things when like original sixty. You, you don't. You like. It doesn't even matter, like right. who you are. You put it in your lap. You're like, oh. Yeah. I just smell it and he was like, Yeah, we're just cool. sniffing it. Jimmy like, Page played it. He was right. in there playing it. You can just smell the 60s. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You hear a lot about the 59. You don't hear a lot of people say 60. No. That's cool. Well, you know, that's really cool. It was a burst and it was Bullified. made early 60s, so it's mm. like they're just doing the same thing. Right. Yeah, it, was, it sounded amazing. It's through gotcha. an old. What did we play it through? I don't remember. It's, it's never really ending. It's, it's, mm. it's, you're always, I'm totally fine until the next one. Right. To the one that you, you're Absolutely. like, okay, am I going to re regret <laughs> buying this or am I, am I going to regret leaving it? Because I think I'm going to regret not buying it. Yeah. More than I Only guess. guitar players can really understand. You can kind of explain it, but they all feel different, sound mm. different. They all mean something. Sometimes they just mean something Absolutely. different to you. You know, it's not even about the sound. It just means something. Yeah, we're, we're just telling Joe about this like in the in the shop because it's like we're terrible with each other because I think we you bring each other along like for the voice of reason like right. should I get this <laughs> yeah. but the answer is always yes of course you should uh, of course I what if there's a song no. in there <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. there could be a song in there yeah. what if we miss out on an album because absolutely we you know what totally Oh, because of that um, that Manson, we have yeah. two of those songs two of those songs, of the the songs on the record, record. yeah, wow. yeah we, we did some writing in LA and we had just finished a tour in Japan and saw all the guitars went back to Nashville and whatever I was like cool good excuse to buy a guitar you know and yeah. I was on okay. reverb and I was just looking at stuff and ended up at the shop and they had I was like why does that get the, you know they didn't have the guitar that I was looking for mm -hmm. I was looking for this SG it was like a, a cool custom SG but whatever um, it wasn't there anymore and I was like what, what are all the knobs on that guitar and it was this Manson you've ever seen those Manson guitars I don't think so maybe dude from Muse it made him kind of famous, yeah. And uh, but it has like a fuzz factory built in, and it's a Staniac, and it's just like so many noise. You can go in outer space with it. It's like <laughs> you know, it's like insane and nice. just turned into a bunch of songs. And That's someone cool. made the yeah. record, and Very totally cool. worth it. Awesome. Always worth getting a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, what's the studio rig like versus the touring rig? Is it really different? The stuff um, here? When we made the record, we used a lot of our road gear. Um, mm -hmm. But that was because Nick wanted us to. Like we kept yeah, talking we, about the stuff that we had. We're like, why didn't you bring it? Yeah. I don't know. We're in a studio. So like, bring it. You know, yeah, it's even I mean, like the hundred watt Randy Rhodes. Yeah, like I started talking about that. So I'm like, it's a hundred watts. He's like, yeah, we're gonna put it in the other room and crank it up. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, it's fun in the studio. Yeah. yeah, I brought my. I have like a '71 Super Lead that I tour with, but it sounds it sounds awesome. So that's great. We use that, and Nick had a bunch of amps, and mm -hmm. we have. a Ton of amps. everything. It's there was kinda, a, there was, was a fun. literal pile of pedals. It wasn't organized. It was mm. just gotcha. And then you know just spider webbing it in. Right. It's just, yeah, yeah, we had all our guitars yeah, and crazy. Nick's guitars and I don't know. It was just like a candy shop. I was like, cool. Well, we nice. got to double that. What are we going to use? And like, well, we haven't used this one yet. Let's do it. Gotcha. <laughs> So you guys, we only got time for about one more. Can you tell us about your experience at Ash today? I heard you came into the shop. What happened? Yeah, we went over to awesome. Sam Ash. Thanks. And, that's They're, our flagship shop. What do you really? call the guitar? Awesome. The guitars yeah. of distinction room. Was yeah, it? Is that the what it's called? Guitars, guitars of, of distinction. distinction. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, that's the pride of Sammy Ash right there. Guitars there's of distinction. Some, there's some cool guitars in there. I saw Malcolm Young, Gretsch. Yeah, that's awesome. I had to get it. Cool man. Yeah. So you picked up a guitar today. That's yeah, great. Play tonight? Yeah. I, no way. You gonna play it tonight? Yeah, I use it in sound check, and man. it sounds awesome, man. <laughs> that's it's a like bold a, move. Hey, yeah. well, what, Rock and roll. You get a guitar, you want to play it. That's cool. cool. It's Look great because it. right before we left, the guitar techs were like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, my guitar tech was like, you're going to the guitar shop. I was like, yeah. He's like, oh. And so you come back with I walked in with that. He's like, oh, damn, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's so beautiful to me. That's rock and roll, man. You saw a guitar, you bought it, you're going to play it tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. It that's sounds awesome. awesome. It's got this low end to it, it's just massive. Mm. Yeah, I think I heard it during sound check. Yeah, you were holding it, right? That cool. was the guitar. And, yeah, yeah and then the, you know, if you roll off the tone on that one, it almost sounds like a fuzz pedal. It's like, yeah. Right. Sounds cool. That's great. Yeah, I'm excited. 
Well, guys, if Sam Ash loves anything, it's Hailstorm. I, oh, I I'm just, so glad. I, I thank, thank you so you. much for being here. Uh, once again, I'm Dave Stutz, but I'm going to let you guys Dave. let them know. Where, where can they keep up with you? What do they need to know? Socials, website? It's hailstormrocks.com as most of the info you yeah, need if you, if you, if you Google us. Hailstorm, H-A-L-E, Storm, you'll find you'll something. Find <laughs> you know how to find things. Yeah, you know, it's, the, inter the, internet. it's the internet. It's a, you know, there's all the, the things HTTP. out there. Don't believe everything on Wikipedia, though. Not everything. Some of the things accurate. <laughs> some is just, uh, it's just messy. Do you remember the beginning of the internet thing? HTTP backslash oh, yeah. colon, colon backslash backslash. Yeah. I don't know. Remember having to actually type that www dot yeah. hailstormrocks.com backslash tour. Do you remember when we had to flyer? Like yeah. actually like beg pizza shops to like pre-internet. Do you know what flyering is, kids? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> now you just post something. Now you just post it. No. <laughs>